Well, my, my mother was terminally ill and she was living next door to myself and my husband and my son. Um, I have got three brothers um, and not only did my mother know that she was going to die imminently, but obviously the rest of us did too. Um, she'd had uh, quite a traumatising experience in hospital um, about five months before she did actually die and the one thing she was very clear about was she wanted to stay at home um, up to the point of her dying. She didn't want to actually go into hospital or anywhere else to be cared for. She wanted to be cared for at home. But when our mother died, there was only one of my brothers with me at the time here in, in Scotland um, and we both, without saying anything, knew that the way we wanted to celebrate our mother's death and to um, honour honor her life and her death and to honour our own feelings was to do something very similar because it felt so right. So um, the sun was shining, the house was filled with daffodils, my mother was Welsh, and we were all brought up in Wales, um, music was playing um, and she passed away very peacefully. Uh, we went through the motions of calling the doctors um, and calling the undertaker, like I said. Uh, the undertaker was local, it was a family run business, still is, and when we sat and somewhat hesitantly um, said that actually not only did we want to keep our mother in the house, but we wanted to also help prepare help prepare her body. Um, there was no hesitation. The only reluctance on the part of the undertaker was the concern in terms of temperature within the house. It was March, it certainly wasn't warm, but it wasn't overly cold either. Um, and I suppose we found ourselves thinking off the top of our heads because it felt like such a natural natural process. And we immediately said, we'll keep the windows open, we'll keep the blinds drawn, we'll light scented candles, um, it'll be fine, we said to him. And he, he ran with that, which was wonderful. So I actually prepared my mother's body myself. He told me what to do. And um, they brought a coffin along to the house um, and helped helped us place mum in the coffin, um, having dressed her as she would have liked to have been dressed, always putting her best face forward. Um, and there she was, um, lying in her bedroom. Um, my brother was staying in the house with her and we were right next door. Um, and that's how it was for a week. Um, it was a simple act of, of, of washing and dressing, full stop. And, and, and placing mum in her coffin. And I suppose we could conjure up all sorts of images, we could conjure up all sorts of philosophy about birth and life and death. Um, but when it came to being with my mother and being with my mother's body and her soul, uh, choosing a, a favourite outfit, making sure her hair was combed, like I say, putting the best face forward, it just felt like the most natural thing in the world. I'd, or, I'd already helped her by caring and nursing her before she passed away, so I, I was no stranger to her body. Um, as her daughter, um, she was no stranger to mine. It just felt like a natural relationship. I consider myself to be really, really fortunate that I seem to be the sort of person that was just completely open to doing it instinctively and in what felt like the right way for me. Everybody has a right way and I think ultimately, like I say, why I'm inspired by what Kate's doing with Pushing Up the Daisies is because inevitably I'd had these experiences all those years ago and I, I, I would have shouted them from the rooftops if I felt there were other people who would have liked to have had those experiences but felt that they couldn't. And when I say couldn't, couldn't in the general sense of, um, you know, perhaps because they felt that they were too squeamish or there was something to be frightened of, or actually more, more powerfully than that, we just play not allowed. 
um, and to have sat there with with with, with my youngest brother uh, in front of the undertaker, and for us both to be of the same mind, um, it felt like such a a lucky strike. It all felt lucky. It all felt it all felt extremely lucky. And to this day, actually, I feel very fortunate, but very honoured. And I think that expression honoured comes from the soles of my feet, really. I haven't really thought about it. It's just an expression that feels like the right one to use is, is, is honoured. Because um, grief is massive. And it, it, it's it, in our society, it's something that can be so suppressed. It's not to say that by doing things the way we did them, that our, 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 our grief was necessarily healthier or better. It was just, it was better for us and it was healthier for us. I'm not saying that this is the right way for everybody, but what's inspiring, like I say, about pushing up the daisies is if people can even just listen and hear and maybe be inspired by knowing that there's a different path, then that, that would be a great thing.